system of yours? Well, I think it's as good as any. Or <laughs> better than some. And the whole point is that it's very cheap, very simple, and very easy for the ordinary man in the street to understand. You know, there's nothing complicated about it. And it uh, does a lot of things. It um, cuts out the pollution. It's, it's very cheap to install. And uh, well, it's the only thing possible when the petrol goes, anyway. Harold Bate is an inventor. For 17 years, he's been driving along the lanes of Devon in a car powered by methane gas. It's a standard car modified by a simple converter he's invented. And he makes his own methane gas from barnyard manure. This is the material that methane gas is made from. Uh, in nature, it's rotted down. It takes some thousands of years to form uh, natural gas or methane gas. It's all the same thing. But to, to do a quick thing on it and to form it instead of thousands of years, to form it in a week's time, I use manure. And the best type of manure I find for uh, setting the thing off quickly and producing gas within a week is a mixture of pig manure uh, poultry manure, straw and water. Once the thing gets set off, any other kind of manure can be added to it. And uh, the uh, digester is filled, the um, pig manure uh, forms heat, and the poultry manure forms nitrogen, and the water forms hydrogen, and the straw forms carbon. Now all these ingredients together uh, uh, cause the bacteria in the manure to get to work. They first consume the oxygen from the water, this leaves hydrogen, and then other bacteria get to work on the hydrogen and form it into methane gas. Now then, after about a week at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, the, the gas begins to come off. It's producing 25 pounds per square inch pressure of gas. And to make sure it is producing gas, I, uh, I light up the Bunsen burner. The gas is going through water, you see. This is just to clear any residue from the manure. And there's the gas being produced. Uh, there we are. Now then, I know there's gas, so I turn it off again from the digester and connect the pipe from the digester. Onto the compressor. Now the other end of the pipe from the compressor is connected to the gas bottle, you see. So what we do now is to start off the, com the compressor, which draws the gas from the digester, and pumps it into the gas bottle. Then we take the gas bottle and put it in the boot of the car, connect it up to my uh, gas converter, which can enable the carburetor to use either gas or petrol by switching from one fuel to the other. And when you're running on methane gas, you have a, a high octane gas, about 127. You can't make an engine knock on it. You can start up in top gear. There's no carbon monoxide, there's no poison fumes, and what's more, uh, a car that's been running on petrol and then switched to methane, the methane will decarbonize the car and blow the carbon out of the exhaust. And the only exhaust from the methane is a, is a slight water vapor, which vaporizes out in the exhaust system. 
So you've got a clean gas and a powerful gas because uh, gasoline produces 27% complete combustion, where methane gas produces 98% complete combustion. Therefore, you've, not, you've more power. And then away we go. And the actual cost of the gas is nothing. Why do you get the manure for nothing? And uh, of course, as long as there is, there, as long as there are human beings and animals, there'll be manure. And as long as there's manure, there'll be methane gas. So therefore, we shall always have power when all the carboniferous fuels are finished. Right, well, I'll show you the gas bottle that supplies the engine with the methane gas. Now, this sm small bottle I use on this car, and it contains the equivalent of about three gallons of gasoline. But uh, you actually get more mileage on gas than you do on gasoline. This is connected by a tube underneath the car up to the converter in the, under the bonnet. And that supplies the gas into the carburetor so that you can switch from gas or petrol or diesel oil, whatever you're using, uh, as you're going along without getting out of the car. Mr. Bate uses only a three gallon bottle. He can fill it with the gas produced from about 50 pounds of dry manure. You've got a very high octane fuel, which is completely anti knock. It's really what you call a sweet as a nut. Now the gas bottle in the boot is connected by tubing up to what I call uh, the auto gas converter device. Now this is a, a very sensitive um, suction or vacuum operated valve. Now the gas bottle is connected here to the suction end of the, uh, the inlet end of the uh, auto gas device, goes through the, the device and the, the outlet end is connected to a gas jet in the carburetor here. Uh, the suction from the carburetor operates the device and pulls it open and shut as you operate the accelerator. And this allows the gas to come through into the carburetor. And uh, the old thing is, is automatic, it's all work from the foot accelerator. And it can be fitted, uh, taken off one car and fitted onto another. It can be fitted on a one horsepower engine or a 50 horsepower engine, the same thing. And it operates the same. Or you can use any other.